Hello, I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Friday, August 19th. Today, our theme is Curiosity Kills the Narrative. <laughs> it's not killing the cat in this situation. Um, we're talking about a moon in Gemini. And uh, so we have a shift. We've got a shift in the energy and the vibe that we've had all week, which has been Aries and then Taurus. So we had the, that Aries, uh, you know, tendency to action and risk taking, maybe doing something a little rash or unthought through. <laughs> um, and then the Taurus energy of being the, the tortoise winning the race and bringing about change through implementing um, the, the vision that you want to see and how you want to contribute to a better world uh, through your daily actions. So, uh, so it's been, uh, you know, focused on this energy of uh, the pressure to evolve that I spoke about on, uh, I think it was Tuesday. Anyway, um, Anyway, today the moon goes into Gemini, which is an air sign. So just very much lighter vibe. Um, we're in our heads. Uh, we're, there's more of a focus on curiosity, asking questions, uh, information, learning things. And um, so it's shifting to thoughts and dialogue and conversation, communication, messaging, messages. Um, and so, of course, um, you know, my uh, theme, you know, and curiosity kills the cat is, <laughs> is, uh, the, is, of course, the cat, you know, getting into things, it sh it, places where it shouldn't go, right? Places where uh, maybe it's ill-advised to explore, but the cat's going to go there anyway. So in this case, let's think of the cat as the narrative, as... Uh, you know, the narrative in the collective, the narrative, uh, in uh, you know, in the political world, but also the narratives in your life. What are the stories you're listening to, the things you're believing in, the ideas that you're subscribing to, and how can you be that curious cat to uh, to ask questions, go, <clears throat> you know, yeah, what about this? What, why is that there? What, what's, what's going on over here behind this curtain? What's underneath that rug? Uh, you know, what's, what, how can we go inside the paper bag like the cat? Let's, let's explore. Let's look a little deeper. Let's ask some questions and, um, and really get curious. Um, because when we do that, we can break down the the existing narrative which is the the status quo of thought right the the information or the story that we're being told or the story we're repeating in our minds and uh how that might be uh showing up in the world in something that people are believing in or the headlines that we're seeing in the news but how can you how can you ask questions uh, in your dialogues with your friends, your neighbors, your family members, you know, uh, instead of just taking a headline in the news and saying, you know, oh my God, that's, you know, that's terrible or that's whatever. Um, how can you go, huh, you know, I wonder where that came from, or I wonder what's going to happen, you know, when X, Y, Z takes place or, you know, just, just looking a little deeper. Why did they say that? Who said that? Why did they say it that way? Um, why did they use this word instead of that word? You know, just using that power of your mind to uh, maybe be a little subversive in thinking in the way that you think, the way you think to undermine uh, the, the status quo of thought the information that is being uh, held up as the truth. And, you know, of course we know that the truth is, um, is something that uh, is, can change, right? So, uh, so what we know to be the truth, once we get more evidence, what, once we get more information, the truth evolves. And so be that force of helping the truth to evolve through questioning, through asking questions, through opening your mind. And just on a, on a personal level, it's a great time for brainstorming, for writing, for talking things through with a friend. Um, 
and for opening your mind. You know, maybe in your creative work, it's a good time to ask deeper questions to, you know, say, well, why did I say it that way? Is there another way to say it? Um, you know, those kinds of things. So curiosity kills the narrative. And with the moon in Gemini, we, we have this shift tomorrow, um, actually uh, just after midnight, my time, um, Pacific time, U.S. is going to be Mars going into Gemini. And so that energy also is going to continue and, and further this shift of um, shifting into the curiosity, the asking questions and um, the investigations, the information, and what is that story that's being told and how can we undermine it through asking deeper questions and uh, going into the deeper corners of where did that come from? Why is that being said the way it is? So um, so that's what's coming. And of course, the moon it will only be in Gemini for a couple of days, but uh, Mars will be in Gemini. It's going to go retrograde in Gemini. So it's going to be in Gemini for a good six months. Um, and that's uh, that's going to be a quality that we're going to be in uh, over the next few months and what things look like as things unfold in the collective, um, that there is this uh, more of a focus on what is the information and information coming out, perhaps being more revealed um, and uh, knowledge shifting and changing as the truth evolves. So there you go. Thanks for being here today. Um, and I'll be back tomorrow with more Astro Vibe. Let me know what you think, what questions you've got, and we'll go from there. And thank you so much for being here. Please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos, uh, which really helps me out. It's free and it really lets me know that you're liking what you see. And if you want something different, please let me know. All right. Thanks again. And uh, check me out at astrologyheals.com if you're looking for a deeper work or a reading. All right. Thanks. For, bye for now.